hello guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is tessie good morning good afternoon and good evening to you all depending on where you are watching from hope you all are doing well and thank you so much for stopping by we have said it before my people that the only language that these nigerian leaders understand is violence that is the only thing they understand senate finally bows to pressure swing into action after aggrieved protesters pulled down nas gates national assembly gates right before we continue i want to beg you all to please help me by liking this video also share with others so that youtube and facebook can recommend it to more people all right the news here reads senate finally bows to pressure swing into action after angry protesters pulled down nas gate the senate on wednesday set up a committee to dialogue with the protesting unions who broke down the national assembly complex first gate the protesters in their hundreds had marched from the unity fountain in abuja to nas complex in demonstration against the anti-poor people policies of president bola Ahmed tinibu's administration channels tv report that upon their arrival at the nas complex the protesters pulled down the first gate of the complex and marched to the premises. Following an urgent closed-door meeting with the parliamentarians, Senate President Goswi Akpobio said that the Red Chamber has formed a three-person committee to speak with the protesters at the National Assembly. <laughs> this one is urgent closed-door meeting. Urgent. And not say Nigerians, we are not smiling. Ali Ndume, the chief whip for the Senate from Borno South, presided over the committee the senate also decided that it would meet with the noc and tuc leadership as soon as possible to try to settle the current deadlock amicably channel tv report that ndume later visited with the demonstrators in the national assembly together with two other politicians senators iriti king ibe and tony Mwonyi. the president of the trade union congress tuc and the nigeria labor congress nlc joe ajero and festus osifo respectively we are seen interacting with the senators in the federal capital territory fct abuja as well as other state of the federation including lagos abia plateau kaduna kanu rivers zamfara kasina cross river ebony enugu kwara ogun imo ondo and edo the organized labor which includes the nlc the tuc and the affiliate unions today began a protest all right my people and uh, that is it for you all as these people say we not go get peace for this country them also there is no peace for them because in reality eh, there is no peace for the wicked i'm just gonna let you all watch the videos of them trying to dialogue with the protesters and uh, i'll be back with the rest of my comments yes. the nigerian masses have suffered yes. the nigerian masses are passing through excruciating difficulty yes. but in all of these we have not heard what the president of the country has said regarding the cost of governance we have not uh, now we are screening ministers these ministers will go back they will have paying aid. Those they are paying aid are going to have senior assistants. The senior assistants will now have a PA to the senior assistant to the minister's aid. Before you know, the numbers will go outside the roof. It is at this time when the Senate, when the Senate can have a press, whether it was in the Appropriation Act before now, whether it was in the supplementary bill, we think grossly that it is grossly insensitive for us to be muting, uh, to spend 70 billion we have that they want to use it to fill their offices. We have told them to pay a visit to the Secretariat it is not here, and see how people are suffering. To go to the Secretariat and see that people work without life for months. To see that in the Secretariat, to even go to toilet, everywhere is smelling. We are all equal Nigeria. We have equal stake in Project Nigeria. We want you in National Assembly to show sacrifice. We want you in National Assembly to call down your budget. We want you in National Assembly to go and buy innocent motors. 
will not want you to go over Toyota to go over imported vehicle because you are creating job over there and you are importing something here. There is nothing wrong in, in, in using local motors or locally assembled vehicles in Nigeria. You must show leadership. You must lead for the front because we have expected you to work for us. We know also that the condition with which you work is also important. We are not insensitive. But all we are saying is that you must sacrifice. If you don't have television in your office, you can use your phone in watching television. If you cannot have AC in your office, you can use fan. Because there are a lot of Nigerians who don't even have fan. Who don't even have light. So please, you must show leadership from the front and pass this please to the Senate President and to the Speaker of the Federal House of the Senate. And you must show sacrifice. Representing the letter of protest to the who is representing the Senator. Solidarity, Mr. President of the NLC and PUC, fellow comrades, good morning. My name is Senator Mohamed Ali Dune, a senator representing the Way South and by God's grace, the Chief Whip of the Senate. Comrades, I come here in solidarity. Let me say one thing. Please, I beg you in the name of God, let us take what we are doing serious. Let us know that God is watching us. Let us not come here to only wave flags and then sing songs and go back. Let us solve the problem that is in this country. As I come to speak to you, I swear to God, I speak because I know what I went through to escape poverty. The, the president, the former, the immediate, the immediate president of MLC, uh, NLC is from my constituency and he knows me very well. I'm a son of the poor that became somebody without knowing anybody. That time, Nigeria was working. I was able to go to public school. I was able to go to public higher institution. I was able to get three jobs at a time. But now, things have changed. Who changed is we. And we are supposed to do the change. The National Assembly are your representatives. I came here by the grace of God and by the grace of our people, especially the workers. I am six-time member of the National Assembly. By the grace of God and by the support I received from people like Waba. Therefore, comrades, please, let us be serious. We have a problem in this country. The problem is born. We have to solve this problem ourselves. Let me tell you that whether we like it or not, as we are representative, we must represent you. In response to what the leadership is doing, the National Assembly, especially the Senate, we have been following keenly what is going on. When we realize that there is a breakdown in the discussion between the presidency and the NLC. Day before yesterday, one of our colleagues brought a motion on this labor crisis that we are facing and the need for the Senate to intervene. There is a motion that we passed on Monday when we sat, before we started the screening, we brought that motion and all the members of the Senate were co-sponsors. And that is to look at what is happening. Why is the negotiation stopped? We have a problem. The NLC is discussing with the presidency. 
I understand now what the president is saying. I am in support. And I said it before that the NLC should be negotiating with either the president or the vice president. And if, and if because of their schedule, then an acceptable representation will continue the discussion. We stand with you on that. And as I say, please have confidence in the National Assembly or give us a trial. Let the Senate, the leadership, be involved in the negotiation. One of us here is from the Labour Party. I am from the governing party. Two of them are here. They cannot afford, they cannot afford to betray you or fail you. If they do that after 1,400 days, that is three, four years, they will come back to you for your votes. So they know what they will happen if they fail you. Please, let us be serious. Let us not just come here, wave flags, and then we are at this thing and lose this thing like that. Let us find permanent solution to this. And the solutions can be achieved. As you said, refineries are not working. Then we just started the refinery and he was to com com complete it. Nothing was there. Let us ask these questions. And it is not enough to say give money to the local refineries. How much have been given to them and what happened? Yes, let us know. So let us find concrete solution to our problem. I am taking this letter back to the leadership of which I am one. And as the president was reading them out, I was paying attention. The Senate will make these uh, demands their terms of reference. And uh, please, as I said, this is a message, a very strong one. But we are all Nigerians. This country belongs to all of us. As long as we are involved in the negotiation, we should also consider the consequences of our action. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the people that will suffer more are our people. The people that harass you at the gate are the poor. There is no son of a senator that is constable or sergeant of the So, where is the problem? The problem is with us. When I was told that you are bad at the gate there, the sergeant at times is here, he can bear me witness, he called me. He said the chief whip, there are level people out there and uh, the police have blocked them. I told him, allow them to come in and wait for us yeah. to come and address them. Yeah. They design, they design. So it's not that we are completely insensitive. We are Nigerians, as I said, most of us, most of us, unfortunately, that are maltreating our own are from the poor. How many are rich, rich Nigerians? There are very few. Majority of our senators are from the poor. Majority of the police harassing us are from the poor. Majority of those people that are doing all these things are the poor. Yes. They are just not going to be in part of a security and then you are in the labor. That's the difference. So, let us go to the president. I give you my word and I give the leadership your word. And also, you should let Nigerians know what is going on. Yes. It is not enough for us to gather here and talk about this. We should carry Nigerians along. All right, my people, and that is it for you all. It is a very long video, and at the end of the day, it's just the same talk, 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 they talk that they keep repeating. The truth is that we are tired of talking. We want action. They should swing into action enough of talking, and that is it for you all, my people. I'm going to leave you all to share your thoughts with me on the comment section, and with that, I'll say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.